So lots of news around Apple today. They had the iPhone 5 launch has been a, 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 a pretty big success, although there's some mm -hmm. supply chain glitches, like 5 million sold over the weekend. At the same time, though, of course, one of the assemblers, uh, Foxconn, has had a, a little bit of a disturbance in its factory in China. Why don't we talk about that one first? Richard, you're looking at what's going right. on with Foxconn and Tiyuan. We don't know exactly what caused this, but you had some sort of brawl, riot, and what what seemed like a, probably a sort of heavy-handed reaction from the authorities, right. sending in lots of police, like five thousand police to deal with two thousand rioters, rioters, supposedly. Right. Um, and is it the dormitories or in the factory? Where is it? Um, I think in the dormitories. This right. is supposed to have started. We can't say we know for sure, but right. You know, but what, what are we, they've closed the factory for at least a time, which must be a blow to Apple. So there's a supply chain issue potentially there. But yeah, more importantly, on the human front, you've got. It's not that anybody is. At, absolutely forced to work there but and and wages at Foxconn are better than the average tip or but certainly better than legal minimums in in China right but you got in this case 80 nearly 80,000 people cooped up they live in dormitories they're migrant workers so they you know the choices kind of work there or go home right. to the countryside somewhere it's a little well, bit of a tinderbox of the right. situation especially if you're working very long hours to fulfill to the orders a for a new, a new product right from Apple right but of course We've had, and so it's funny that that happens, or odd timing, at a time when, when did when it went on sale on Friday or yeah, like weekend. On Friday. I mean, it, 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 the timing may not be coincidental at all. I mean, it right. makes sense if you're going to protest, that would be the time. Or just it's the the huge tension, the yeah, huge exactly, demands yeah. on the factory to produce. Um, but you know, it, it, it's clear that Apple's got a huge hit on their hands. I mean, they sold five million. It, okay, Wall Street went out and said, okay, they're going to sell six to ten million, and everyone said, oh no, they haven't sold as many. Disasters. No, it's, so it's stock's down a bit today. Uh, it's down two percent. But if you look at it, I mean, it's more than any other generation of the phone by quite a bit. Last one sold four million, the one one point seven million. And the other thing is, it's just that people they people couldn't buy them. I mean, if you if you try to buy it online, you get a wait of about three to four weeks because you could you don't have the restrictions right. you face in the store. And Apple only recognizes the revenue once it actually ships them. So and they're sitting. So all on that stuff is still hasn't been recognized. Exactly, they're they're sitting on a lot of. All right. Sales. Well, we'll keep watching that story as it develops, and we'll be back with more breaking news tomorrow.